again. This is lesson 1.4 and we're going to look at the Knowledge Flow Interface. The Knowledge Flow Interface is an alternative to the Explorer and it lets you lay out filters and classifiers and evaluators interactively on a 2D, 2D canvas. And there's various other components like data sources and visualization components and so on. We have different kinds of connections between the components and uh, a feature of the Knowledge Flow interface is that it can work incrementally on potentially infinite data streams. So let's um, go ahead and set up a configuration with the Knowledge Flow interface. I'll just start it up here. And uh, I'm going to load an R file with a data source called an R loader. I'm going to configure that. This is a right click configure to uh, use the iris data set, which is here. And then I'm going to need a class assigner to assign the class. I think that's here, class assigner. I'm making a connection. I'm going to make a data set connection to the class assigner. And then uh, I'm going to get a cross-validation fold maker because we're going to evaluate this with cross-validation. And I'm going to connect up the data set to the cross-validation fold maker. And then I'm going to get a classifier. I'll use good old J48. Here's all the classifiers. J48 is up here with the tree classifiers at the end. Let me put that there. And I'm going to connect both the training set and the test set from the cross-validation fold maker to J48. I'm going to uh, get a classifier performance evaluator in the evaluation tab. The classifier performance evaluator. And I'm going to collect, connect the classifier, that is the batch classifier produced by J48, to this. And then I'm going to connect the output to a text viewer. Here's a text viewer. The textual output I'm going to connect and then I'm going to start it all up. I'm going to run it. With uh, my right click here I'm going to start loading. And let's have a look at this text viewer. Show the results. And here we go. This is the results that we've got. So, well, we've seen these results before many times of course. There's a lot of different things back on my slide here. This is uh, what I've done. And uh, what I'm going to do next, uh, here's the configuration I set up. Then next I'm going to add a model performance chart. So let's find that. That would be uh, under visualization. Here's a model performance chart. And I'm going to connect the uh, visualizable error to this. And then I'm going to have a look at the output. Now let me just run this again. Start loading. Now I'm going to look at the output, show the chart. And here, well, you've seen this kind of chart before. I could plot, for example, the predicted class against the uh, actual class. So there's a lot of different things you can do. Back on the slide here. Let's work with stream data. I'm going to take an R floater in stream mode, not load a data set, but a single instance at a time. And we're going to use an updatable classifier and an incremental evaluator and look at a strip chart. Let me clear all this over here. Uh, so a data source, let's get that R floater going. Uh, configure it to use the iris data. And then I'm going to take that to a class assigner, which is an evaluation. And this time I'm going to make an instance. I'm just going to send a single instance along here. And I'm not going to make cross-validation folds. I'm going to take that straight to an updatable classifier. There's an updatable version of Naive Bayes. Some classifiers are updatable and some aren't. So. Uh, Naive base updatable. Let's use that one. So I'm going to connect that instance here to the naive base, updatable naive base classifier. 
then I'm going to use an incremental classifier evaluator. Incremental classifier evaluator. And that's uh, an incremental classifier I'm going to connect up to this. And then I'm going to take uh, the output from that and put on a strip chart. Here's a strip chart. Take the output here, the chart output, and put it there. Okay. Let's show the strip chart, which is blank at the moment. And then I will, uh, with my RF loader, I will start loading. And you can see a little bit of uh, output here. I'm going to use a larger data set. I could configure this, of course, but let me. The simplest thing is to use a larger data set. Let me use uh, the segment challenge data set and start loading again. And now we get this kind of output. And this shows you how the class probabilities change uh, for one class and for the other class as uh, we go through. These are effectively learning curves um, in this situation. Okay, back to the slides. We've looked at the knowledge flow interface and the panels uh, are broadly similar to the explorers uh, with some exceptions. Evaluation is a separate panel, for example. The facilities are broadly similar as well, with just a couple of notable exceptions. We can deal incrementally with potentially infinite data sets. That's what we just did. The, what, the configuration we just set up loaded from the file incrementally, and so it was never stored in memory at the same time, which is what the Explorer does. The Explorer loads everything into memory. And also, you can look inside cross-validation of the models for individual folds which is exactly what you're going to be doing in the activity associated with this lesson. Some people really like graphical interfaces like this, and it's really good to know about the knowledge flow interface. So off you go to the activity, and uh, good luck, and I'll see you in the next lesson. Bye for now.